welcome, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Happy Mask Monday! Happy Mask Monday. Um, I'm going to be doing this paper facial mask. It is chamomile and cucumber. It is from Bolero. Um, I got this from Stephanie, the opinionated horsewoman. Uh, in my giveaway, I got to get. I won a giveaway from her. That was a bunch of really, well, different, new to me, new to me masks. Um, this is the Bolero kind, and it is very. Oh, look at that! That's juicy. So I'm gonna put this on. I hope everyone is having a great weekend. It's Sunday. Um, I try to always film on Sunday. I just actually got up not too long ago. So it's early and um, I'm kind of sinusy today. Like just a little allergy-ish. I don't know. I don't usually I don't usually have allergies, but man, Anthony's been sneezing all week. So evidently the allergies, I've heard people say that their allergies were bad. Um right now. I've heard people say I've heard people say that it's because of uh, the wildfires and that's what's kicking up, you know, all the nonsense. Man, this is really hard. Stand by. Okay, sorry. It, it's just all folded in on itself and it's so gooey. Oh my gosh, it feels really good. I love cucumber. It doesn't smell like cucumber, but uh, it feels really soothing. Uh, my face is a little angry with me little bit oh man it has a lot of serum okay uh, like I said I hope everyone is having a good weekend sorry I had to get my Ugh. um it is Sunday when I'm filming this this just says calm nourish and hydrate yeah that's really nice um I'm all discombobulated now because of the trying to undo the mask. Um, we went to a barbecue place last night. We really haven't done much this weekend. Uh, I did work for a little bit yesterday. Um, I listed some items that we recently acquired. So I listed those on the different platforms where we sell. And... We went to a barbecue place last night. I don't know if you guys have a city barbecue. It's a, it's, it's a chain, but I'm not sure it's nationwide. But they have amazing barbecue. And we got brisket. Um, we shared. They had, you can get a pound of brisket. So we, we split that. We split a lot of meals. Um, and I'll, I'll go back to that. We split a pound of brisket, and then we got green beans and a salad and coleslaw. So... Um, I'm back on keto. Coleslaw does have a little bit of sugar in it, but I didn't eat very much of that. I mostly ate the um, salad and the uh, green beans. I am back on keto. I have been back on keto for um, this week, and um, I'm feeling really good about it. I had a big wake-up call. I went to put on a pair of jeans, and nothing fit. So... This was last week. I think I, I think I mentioned it. So anyway, we're not going to dwell. We're not going to dwell on that because we're moving forward. Um, and I just edited a keto pudding recipe, which I'm going to is going to come out this week. Also, I just got done editing a um, a video about a company that is local to Columbus, but they have a website and they do ship in the United States and that is Glen Avenue Soap Company. So I just made a whole video on just that company because I love, love, love their products. That's the, the cleanser, the face wash. I just used it, so I thought I would bring it in and show you. Um, so yeah, look for that. Uh, that's going to be out probably tomorrow. Um... So, I have some questions. Um, I did some questions. I, I took them from Carol, Carol Gardner, because I thought they were fun. 
Uh, they're Never Have I Ever questions. <laughs> and um, they were really fun, and her answers were really fun. Um, I'm going to link her below, and I'm also going to link Stephanie Opinionated Horsewoman where I got this mask. I'm going to link both of those below. But Carol Gardner, she is, first of all, she's beautiful. Like, she is a beautiful person, but, like, she's beautiful. She's got these blue eyes, this dark hair, and and she's funny. Oh, she cracks me up. I, I laugh all the time. So, if you've never checked her out, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. But if you haven't, go give her some love. Go give Stephanie some love. Also, beautiful lady. Beautiful. So, go check them out. Um, so never have I ever questions. We'll just do a few. I don't know how many I have, actually. I just wrote them down as she was saying them. Um, have you ever bought something from Dollar General? Or never have I ever. So never have I ever bought something from Dollar General. <laughs> yeah. Um, I buy from Dollar General all the time. Uh, have you ever tried their Believe Beauty products? They have a, a hair... They have a hairline and a beauty line that's only at Dollar General. And I've only had a couple things in the makeup, but I'm really thinking about going and buying like a whole face and doing a video, whole face of Believe Beauty makeup. I might do that. I might do that. Uh, never have I ever changed a dirty diaper. Obviously, I have a child. Um, well, I have a, I have a, an adult, but she, she was a baby at one point and I did have to change her diapers. Never have I ever been in a hot air balloon. No, no, no. I will never, I will never. I am so afraid of heights. No, no. Have you, uh, never have I ever been to a pig roast? I have. My stepmother is a retired police officer and, um, they used to have a pig roast every year and it was it was always a really good time there was uh way too much food and way too much uh beer just saying never have i ever deleted a post on social media because i had a low percentage of likes no no i've never done that <laughs> that's that's dumb i don't i don't really pay attention I don't pay attention to who likes my stuff and who doesn't. I just post it, you know. It's usually something that, you know, I feel strongly about or um, I like or I don't know, something, something. And I don't, I don't even look at, really look at my likes. I mean, I don't I look at my comments because I always try to comment back. Um, never have I ever been skiing or snowboarding. I have. We have a place. Um... I don't even know how far it is away from here. I would say, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes away. It's called Mad River Mountain. And it is a, it is a, a skiing place. And, um, you know, I am in Ohio, so it's not like it's a real mountain. It's not a real mountain. But it is a ski place. They do um, produce their own snow all winter long if if for some reason we don't have snow, they, it's, they're still st skiing there. Anyway, um, I've messed up my knee. I messed up my knee terribly. Um, I was, I think, oh, I had to have been like 18 or 19. Went with friends. They have a midnight, a midnight ski. Um, and yeah, I messed up my knee pretty bad. Actually within the first hour. So then I just sat in the little uh, clinic while everybody else had a great time. Um, never have I ever con, never have I ever gone commando. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it. Um, there have been times when, like, you wear your bathing suit underneath your clothes to a pool party or whatever, and then when you're done swimming, like, I have forgotten to bring under things to put on. So then, yeah, you're going commando, and I don't like it. I think it's, yee, I don't like it. Uh, but it has happened. Never have I ever been in handcuffs. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah, I have. I have, actually. Uh, when I was, once, one time, when I was 20 years old, 
my friend and I went to this bar and it was one of those bars I don't know if you've ever seen them they they're like two bars put together one of them was um, called Bourbon Street and it was just a like a sit down um, talk with your friends kind of place and the other place was called Club Dance and it was a country bar and it had the big dance floor in the middle where people did the you know they did the dancing two steps whatever they had a mechanical bull yeah um, I actually rode the mechanical bull this particular night uh, there was a lot of alcohol flowing and my friend it was it was um, a late celebration of my birthday and my friend was, was found some of her friends and she was over in this um, club dance bar and I was over in the Bourbon Street bar so when the night was almost over I went to find her and she was trashed and she was supposed to be the driver she was supposed to be the driver I am an hour and a half away from my house at this point so I called my cousin who lived two blocks down the road and I was like hey I cannot drive back to Springfield tonight um, my, my driver is really drunk can I can we crash at your house tonight and he was like absolutely no problem I pulled out of the parking lot I shouldn't have been driving first of all should not have been driving um, I felt like I could get two blocks down the road I wasn't obliterated um, but I shouldn't have been driving I ran a yellow light coming out of the bar I read a yellow light that turned red as I was underneath it there was a cop behind me um, coming out of the bar behind me and uh, yeah he picked me up and I got a DUI got a DUI at 20 years old it was one of the most expensive lessons that I ever learned and this was well I'm 48 now so like this was a really long time ago this is 28 years ago so things weren't as strict but they were still expensive I think it was $2,500 um, for the fine plus I had to pay, pay a lawyer um, well my mom paid a lawyer well no actually I paid I paid the lawyer I paid the lawyer um, my car got impounded and I had to go get it out so it was a very expensive lesson and honestly honestly not lying first time I ever drank and drove first time ever and then yeah that was that was a bad lesson that was a bad lesson don't drink and drive okay um never have I ever been to comic-con no I've never been to comic-con um uh, that's just not my deal uh that's that's not that's just not my thing uh never have I ever slept with my best friend well Anthony's my best friend and I sleep in the same bed with him every night so of course I do never have I ever cried while watching the Titanic no no I don't I'm not I don't cry I, I'm not a crier to begin with uh, I, I there's only have been a couple of movies in my entire life that have made me cry and that is not one of them um never have I ever binged binged eaten while crying no I have not again I don't really cry very much secondly when I'm that upset if I'm that upset that I'm gonna cry I'm not eating um, I am an emotional eater when it comes to like grieving uh, I want comfort food, but when I'm upset, like upset, I, I can't eat. Never have I ever watched the new Ghostbusters remake. No. No, and I'm not going to because that's just terrible. It's just terrible. It's bad. I have not seen it, but I already know it's bad. It got terrible reviews, and I do not like remakes. There have been a couple of remakes that I do like. One of them is You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, one of the only couple chick flicks that I actually like. Um, and that was a movie back in the day uh, called Shop Girl, um, like in the 40s or 50s. I don't like remakes. I don't like them. I did. I don't like them. Just, just let the first one, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's my thing. Um, 
Have you ever, I'd never have I ever taken any food eating challenge at a restaurant. No, I haven't. <laughs> but there is a pizza place down the road that has one and I want to so bad. But I'm not going to, but I want to. Never have I ever joined the Mile High Club. No. No. Never have I ever been with the same guy for 10 years. Yes, I have. I've been with Anthony for, uh, it'll be 14 in August. No, I won't. It'll. This is August. It'll be 14 in October. It'll be 14 in October. So those were fun. I thought those were fun. It has been 15 minutes. I'm going to take this off. It does feel really nice. It still has a ton of serum. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a ton. A ton of serum. I'm still in my nightshirt, guys. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get out of bed. I'm gonna cleanse my face. I'm gonna go do my Mask Monday video. Oh, well, I hope everyone has a really, really, really great week. Happy Mask Monday again. Thanks everyone for joining me today. And we'll see you next time.